hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be building this responsive and animated login form here as you can see when you click here it switches to the other input form let's start with the html in visual studio code first we'll create a container div with two divs inside it the sign up div and the sign in div Inside each div, we'll have a form here with no action yet. The form is basically going to contain a heading and then a bunch of social media icons. These will use font or some social media icons for Facebook, Google and LinkedIn. After that, we're going to have a span and then input fields for your name, your password, and then the submit button. From there, we're going to build the sign in form. It's also going to have no action but it will also contain the same thing with different texts and different buttons. So as you can see, our two forms look like this for now. The last thing we need to add in HTML are text overlays for both of these forms under the sign in form we are going to create an overlay container inside that overlay container we are going to have an overlay and we are going to have two overlay panels one on the right and one on the left so here we will create two divs inside the div we can basically have a heading and then an image and then a text and then a paragraph after that we will have a button for sign in this will have the id sign in and the class ghost we can basically just copy this and paste it here and then modify the text and change the id of the button from sign in to sign up Once we have this, we are done. So the form for now looks like this. So what I'm going to do is minimize this window so that we can see both the code and the website and then create our styles.css and link it. The first thing we'll do is select all elements and set the box sizing to border box. And then in the body, we are going to set the background color and then convert the entire body into a flex item, set the direction to column, center everything and set the height and the margin. For the headings, we are going to make them bold and then remove their margin. For the H2 headings, we are going to align them to the center. For the paragraphs, we are going to set the font size to 14, the weight to bold, the line height to 20 pixels, the letter spacing to 0 pixels, and the margin to 20 pixels, 0 and 30 pixels. From there, we are going to style the span and give it a font size of 12. And then for the social media 
links and icons we're going to give them a color and then set their font size to 12 their text decoration to none their margin to 14 pixels 0 pixels and then for the button we are going to set the border radius to 20 pixels the border to 1 pixels it's gonna be a solid and we're going to pick this color and then for the color we are going to make it white the font size to 12 the font weight to bold the padding to 12 pixels and for the 5 pixels the letter spacing to 1 pixels and then make it uppercase and then make sure the transition takes 80 milliseconds and it is easing in and finally make the background color of the button blue when the button is clicked we are going to reduce its size by 0.5 percent and when you focus on the button we are going to remove the outline when the ghost class is applied to the button we are going to make the background color transparent and make the text white for our form we are going to make the background color white convert the thing into a flex item align everything to the center set the flex direction to column and set the padding to 0 and 50 pixels then the height to 100% and align the text to the center from there we are going to give our input text a background color remove the border and then give them a padding of 20 pixels and 15 pixels a margin of 8 pixels and 0 and a width of 100% For the container class, we are going to set the background color to 0, the border radius to 10 pixels, and then give the entire thing a box shadow. Then we are going to set the position to relative, and then hide all overflows, and then set the width to 768 pixels. The maximum width is going to be 100% and the minimum height has to be 480 pixels. For the form container, we are going to set its position to absolute so that it stays inside the form, the top to zero, the height to 100% and make sure that all transactions take 0.6 seconds and they ease in and out. For the sign-in container, we are going to give it a left of 0, a width of 50% and a z-index of 2 to lift it up in the z-axis. So for the container, when the right panel is active on the sign-in container, we are going to set this transform to translate x 100% to shift it. And for the sign-up container, we are going to set up its left to 0, its width to 15% and reduce its opacity to 0 to hide it and then set its Z index to 1 to put it below the sign in form. So when the right panel is active on the sign up container, we are going to set up the transform to translate X 100% and then set its opacity to 100% and its Z index to 5 to put it above the sign in container. And then I'm going to set up an animation to show whenever the right panel is activated. And of course, we have to define the keyframes for this animation. From 0 to 50%, the opacity of the container is going to be 0, its Z index is going to be 1. 
and then from 50 to 100 percent it's going to animate in so its opacity has to be a one and it's going to go above the sign in container for the overlay container we are going to set its position to absolute so that it stays within the form the top to zero the left to 15 percent the width to 50 percent the left to 50 percent the width to 50 percent the height 200 percent hide the overflow make sure the transition takes 0.6 seconds and is this in and out and then set the z index to 100 so that the overlay is always on top when the right panel is active on the overlay container we are going to offset its position in the x-axis by minus 100 percent and it's looking kind of good for the overlay itself we are going to set its background color to blue make sure the background doesn't repeat set the background size to cover set the position to 00, zero. set the color to white the position to relative the left to minus 100 the height to 100 the width to 200 so that it covers the entire thing the transform to translate x0 and make sure the transition is this in and out and it takes six seconds when the right panel is active on the overlay we are going to offset its position on the x-axis by 50 percent for the overlay panel we are going to set its position to absolute so that it stays within the overlay convert the entire thing into a flex item align everything to the center set the flex direction to column the padding to 0 40 pixels the top to 0 the height to 100% the width to 50% the transform translate x to 0 and then make sure that the transition is smooth For the overlay left, we are going to set this transform to translate x minus 20%. When the right panel is active on the left overlay, we are going to set its transform to translate x0. For the right overlay, we are going to set its right to 0, its transform to translate x0 and when the right panel is active on the right overlay we are going to set its transform to translate x 20 percent for the social media container we are going to set its margin to 12 pixels and zero and for all the links or social media icons we are going to set the border to one pixels solid and give them a color and then the border radius to 50 percent to make it a circle the display to inline flex and then center everything set the margin to 0 and 5 pixels the height to 40 pixels and the width to 40 pixels and as you can see our form looks complete now but when you click on this button here nothing happens so we need to apply the transform we've already defined in the css by adding the class right panel active to the containers we do that in javascript so go back to the files here and create a styles.js file and link it to HTML. In the JavaScript, you are going to select the main container by its ID.
and then select both buttons the button for sign up and the button for sign in From there, you are going to select the button for sign up and then add an event listener to it. The event we are listening for is click and when that button is clicked, we are going to run this function. When this function runs, we are going to select the container and then add the class right panel active to it. For the sign in, when you click on the sign in button, we are going to set it up so we remove this class from the main container and make sure that your IDs are correct so that it doesn't give you an error and then save and then when you go to click on the form it should work in the next video we are going to be taking this to the next step by linking this to a MySQL database thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video